carry the mop, just for the ops. Come to the foreigns, only hot tops. Come to the coop, only the drop. If I got the drop, I ain't doing no sermon. Niggas ain't learning. The money I'm earning. These bitches I'm curving, bullets be burning. Cause my gun is German. Got chicken like churches. Um, what's up, y'all? Uh, back again with another reaction. This one is for my homie, uh, Phoenix King. Salute, big homie. You already know, love is love. See, you didn't even have to be mommy this time. You know what I mean? I'm on top of my shit. You see it? You see it? <laughs> Let's go. You requested uh, Madonna speech about the king. You know what I mean? The truth with the uh, the speech. You know what I mean? Let's go. Let's just get into this shit, man. Let's go. See what she's talking about about the king, the KOP, a.k.a. Michael Jackson, a.k.a. the GOAT, a.k.a. he is the shit like toilet paper. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, fuck all that. Y'all already know what time I'm on. Let's go. Thank you. Thank you. Michael Jackson. That's right. Talking shit. Talking shit, Madonna. I have a little bit more to say than that. Um, okay. Here we go again. Michael Jackson was born in August 1958. So was I. Michael Jackson grew up in the suburbs of the Midwest. So did I. Michael Jackson had eight brothers and sisters. So do I. When Michael Jackson was six, he became a superstar and was perhaps the world's most beloved child. When I was six, my mother died. I think he got the shorter end of the stick. I never had a mother. Sorry to hear that, Madonna. I know how it is to feel a loose on one, man. I'm sorry to hear that, man. My heart goes out to you, love. Let's go, though. But he never had a childhood. And when you never get to have something, Michael Jackson had eight brothers and sisters, uh -huh. so do I. When Michael Jackson was six, he became a superstar and was perhaps the world's most beloved child. When I was six, my mother died. I think he got the shorter end of the stick. I never had a mother, but he never had a childhood. And when you never get to have something, you become obsessed by it. I spent my childhood searching for my mother figures. Sometimes I was successful, but how do you recreate your childhood when you are under the magnifying glass of the world for your entire life? That's a fact. There is no question that Michael Jackson was one of the greatest talents the world has ever known. I had to pause that, man. Yo, all of y'all clap your hands, man. All of y'all, man. Let's go. Clap your hands, man. Y'all heard it. All right, now back to the video. Let's go. His brother's clapping, now clap too. Come on, man. That when he sang a song at the ripe old age of eight, he could make you feel like an experienced adult was squeezing That's your heart with his words. That's a fact. That the way he moved had the elegance of Fred Astaire That's and packed the punch of Muhammad Ali. That his music had an extra layer of inexplicable magic. That's it didn't just make you want to dance, but actually made you believe that you could fly, That's dare to dream, be okay. anything that you wanted to be. That's a fact. Because that is what heroes do, and Michael Jackson was a hero. That's a fact. He performed in soccer stadiums around the world. He sold hundreds of millions of records. He dined with prime ministers and presidents. Girls fell in love with him. Boys fell in love with him. Everyone wanted to dance like him. He seemed otherworldly, but he was also a human being. Like most performers, he was shy and plagued with insecurities. I can't say we were great friends, but in 1991 I decided I wanted to try and get to know him better. I asked him out to dinner. I said, my treat, I'll drive, just you and me. He agreed and showed up to my house without any bodyguards. We drove to the restaurant in my car. It was dark out, but he was still wearing sunglasses. I said, Michael, I feel like I'm talking to a limousine. Do you think you could take off those glasses so I could see your eyes? He paused for a moment, then he tossed the glasses out the window, looked at me with a wink and a smile and said, can you see me now? Is that better? In that moment, I could see both his vulnerability and his charm. 
The rest of the dinner, I was hell-bent on getting him to eat french fries, drink wine, have dessert, and say bad words. Things he never seemed to allow himself to do. Later, we went back to my house to watch a movie, and we sat on the couch like two kids, and somewhere in the middle of the film, his hand snuck over and held mine. It felt like he was looking for a friend more than a romance, and I was happy to oblige him. And in that moment, he didn't feel like a superstar. He felt like a human being. We went out a few more times together, and then for one reason or another, we fell out of touch. Then, the witch hunt began. And it seemed like one negative story after the other was coming out about Michael. I felt his pain. I know what it's like to walk down the street and feel like the whole world is turned against you. I know what it's like to feel helpless and unable to defend yourself because the roar of the lynch mob is so loud that you are convinced your voice can never be heard. But I had a childhood, and I was allowed to make mistakes and find my own way in the world without the glare of the spotlight. When I first heard that Michael had died, I was in London, days away from the opening of my tour. Michael was going to perform in the same venue as me a week later. All I could think about in that moment was, I had abandoned him. That we had abandoned him. That we had allowed this magnificent creature that once set the world on fire to somehow slip through the cracks. While he was trying to build a family and rebuild his career, we were all busy passing judgment. Most of us had turned our backs on him. In a desperate attempt to hold on to his memory, I went on. Hold on, I had to pause this real quick, man. This is kind of touching. Yo, but y'all remember when and they had the rape case on him about with the kids and all this? They This is what she's talking about, man. Like, when you're doing good, it's always somebody that's going to bring you down, put something out there. You know what I mean? I, you know, a lot of times it's the Illuminati. You know what I mean? I know I shouldn't be talking about the Illuminati, but that shit real. You see what's going on with these artists with this Illuminati shit, man? Like, this shit real, niggas. You know what I mean? So... If you don't want to be a part of them, this is what they do. They mess your life up, man, and put lies and rumors out there about your whole life, my niggas. That's what happened with uh, what you know I mean with, with the homie Prince, rest in peace, man, and and Whitney Houston, rest in peace to Whitney, man, and you know what I mean you, you, the Illuminati is real, man. This shit crazy, man. But that's neither here nor there. I'm gonna leave that shit alone, man. Back to the video. My fault for pausing. Mm. On the internet to watch old clips of him dancing and singing on TV and on stage, and I thought, my God, he was so unique, so original so rare and there will never be anyone like him never again in life. he was a king is the king he was he still is the king man still is the king that's right you see you here salute homie that's right but he was also a human being and alas we are all human beings and sometimes we have to lose things before we can truly appreciate them I want to end this on a positive note and say that my sons, age nine and four, are obsessed with Michael Jackson. There's a whole lot of crotch grabbing and moonwalking going on in my house. And it seems like a whole new generation of kids has discovered his genius and are bringing him to life again. I hope that wherever Michael is right now, he is smiling about this. Yes, Michael Jackson was a human being, but damn it, he was a king. Long live the king. Right, that's fucking right, Madonna. But you, you made a mistake with one thing, bro. You know what I mean? He, you talking about he was the king? He still is the king. Who else could compete with Michael? Nobody. Nobody. You heard Keith Sweat? Nobody, baby. You know what I mean? Nobody. That's shit. Alright, with that being said, man, I hope y'all enjoyed this reaction. Yo, Fingers King, you already know, my nigga. Anytime you put something there, I'm going to do it, my G. Uh, you already know that shit, alright? Um, alright, now, what I'm going to do now is, right, I'm going to do some, uh, some kid, some, some AKs, you know what I mean, reactions. So, I'm going to get back to all the rest of them. I ain't going to forget y'all, but I want to do those, you know what I mean? So, I'm going to get back to y'all. Don't trip and take the chip. Don't trip. All right, I see it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do them. Just bear with me. That's all I can ask of y'all, man. Just please, just bear with me. I want to do some AKs and some kids. 
And as soon as I'm done with those and shit like that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back and I'm gonna, you know what I mean? Come back to those that I miss, all right? Nothing but love and respect, man. I appreciate those that appreciate me. Sorry if I told y'all ears off, but y'all know how it is when I do what I do and how I do it. I just get to it, man. I don't be playing no games. Y'all see it? Y'all see it? All right? Number love and respect, man. Four minus three, one. And I'm out of here, man. Thank you for your time, your patience, and even taking the time to click, watch, like my videos, man. I appreciate the love. All right? And I'm gone, man. Thanks for your time. And your understanding. <laughs> Ace 20, hey, you know I gotta have my Ace 20, man. Y'all know that shit. All right, I'm gone, man. Shit. I'll see y'all in a little minute. In the dark, nigga, all you hear is click clack. I'ma say it once, nigga, did you get that? If it came out your mouth, you can't switch that. Niggas think they the men. Till I hop out that black van. My face in the flag. Cause over that bag. A stomach shot and make him sit in the bag. Your body in a glad bag. I hop in the Uber and stab. I got a reason to brag. Because I just thumped through the cash. No time for the crib stats. Niggas talk fast till I run down on the ass with it. He was choking and I just lit it. I keep it with me, I ain't gotta get it. Anybody did anything.